This picture illustrates under the car by the right side lower control arm mount to the subframe. Remove the E60 external torque fastener as indicated by the green arrow. If you want, you can try to remove the 18mm fastener, red arrow, but there is no room to put a wrench behind it and the washer that holds it will probably bend out of the way. Use a T55 torque socket to remove the toe adjustment fastener. Pull the arm down away from the car. Be careful not to lose or damage the toe adjustment shim of the rear, rearward, lower link subframe mounting bracket green arrow. This picture illustrates looking up under the right rear lower control arm. Remove the plastic rivets, green arrows. See the next steps for the removing instructions. To remove the plastic rivet, pull the center pin, green arrow, into the direction of the blue arrow. Then you can pull out the entire plastic rivet. Pull the lower control arm plastic cover off the lower control arm. You do not need to remove the rear rearward link, but I have done so for photographic purposes. Remove the two fasteners, green arrows, on the lower control arm, but do not pull the fasteners out yet. See steps 8 and 9 for detailed instruction. Use a 12 mil triple square socket on a breaker bar and an 18 mm wrench. Remove the inner lower control arm mount fastener, but leave the bolt in the arm. Use an E40 torque socket with a breaker bar and a 16 mm wrench. Remove the lower shock absorber fastener. You will not be able to pull the bolt out of the lower control arm yet. Jack up the lower control arm to compress the spring. This will also take tension off of the rear shock absorber lower fastener. Remove the fastener, green arrow, from the lower control arm in the direction of the blue arrow. You may need to tap it out with a mallet and be careful not to damage the threads. Remove the lower control arm inner mount fastener already removed here, green arrow. Slowly lower the jack until you have relieved all of the tension on the rear coil spring. Remove the rear coil spring from the lower control arm of the car. On reassembly, make sure the lower end of the rear coil spring is seated up against its perch in the lower control arm as indicated by the green arrow. As you jack up the lower control arm, Make sure the opening at the top of the rear coil spring fits around the mounting guide, red arrow. Use a combination of the jack and a pry bar, green arrow, to position the lower control arm inner mount until the mounting holes line up so you can install the fasteners. Continue the installation steps by installing the rear rearward lower link fastener and tightening them down. Fit the wheel and drop the car. Measure from the ground to the highest point of the wheel well on both sides of the car in the rear and make sure they are within a half inch of each other. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.